The Canadian government in British Columbia is trying to pass legislation that will recreate how oversight bodies regulate health care and alternative medicine. Certain details of this legislation are undisclosed and will remain so until the government passes it into law. But what we do know about Bill C-36 is bad enough. This bill gives the government of British Columbia the power to mandate vaccines for any illness the government so chooses. It gives the government the power to censor anyone who challenges their narrative on anything, allowing the government power to seize an individual's property, fine them for up to $200,000, and throw them in jail. It creates a system of classification wherein the government decides who has good character and who doesn't. It redefines the meaning of informed consent. And while it has not been made official yet, the Canadian Psychiatric Association is now targeting everyone who refuses the dangerous mystery vaccines, labeling them as mentally insane, an age-old tactic of tyrants throw the dissidents into mental asylums and medicate them. And you've talked about how uh, even th they recommend, you know, perhaps psychiatric medication or something for people that don't want to take a vaccine. So this has come out recently out of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario. The college sent out a, a letter or a memo to all the doctors in Ontario suggesting to them, now so far they're not mandating it, they're just suggesting it, that any of their unvaccinated patients, that they should consider that they have a mental problem and that they should be put on psychiatric medication. So far it's just a suggestion, but the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario should not be making these kinds of suggestions. This is extremely unethical and this is a very, very slippery slope. Uh, if, if they're suggesting that people who wish to have bodily autonomy and, and don't want an experimental vaccine, that there may be something mentally wrong with them, that is a very, very dangerous slippery slope that we're on. This is what the website of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario says. It says, quote, it is also important that physicians work with their patients to manage anxieties related to the vaccine and not enable avoidance behavior. In cases of serious concern, responsible use of prescription medications and or referral to psychotherapy are available options. Overall, physicians have a responsibility to allow their patients to be properly informed about vaccines and not have those anxieties empowered by an exemption. So my verdict is, wow, yes, this is in fact a true claim. This is what the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario is telling doctors, that if a patient has declined the COVID-19 vaccine, they are not to quote unquote empower that patient with an exemption that the, the declining of the vaccine is automatically labeled as an irrational anxiety. And the recourse for that in the, in, in the eyes of this medical organization is prescription medications and or psychotherapy. They want to drug you to trick you into taking the COVID vaccine. COVID vaccine. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.